Hi guys, well my computer just finally woke up. Welcome to my Skywix 2's channel. This is Robin and we're still working on this uh, jewelry jar 237 and I have a few more pieces out here and if you see anything you like just leave a comment in the comment section of the video with a timestamp and a description and dollar amount. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you want to order and you're new to the channel, please send me an email at this address. Take a snap a screenshot of that. It's myskywatch2 at gmail.com. I need your name, your full name, your YouTube name so I can connect the two, your shipping address, and uh, a PayPal email if you have one. If you don't, that's not an issue. Okay. Um, shipping is $5 for under a pound, a pound and over. Starts at $8.30 and... Um, may go up depending on the size of box that I have to send the items in. So, um, I've not had anything over $14.30 or $14 or something like that. Anyway, close around $14, $15 amount. But that's uh, only on very, very large orders. So, anyway, um, let's get started. I'm going to start out with this necklace right up here at front. These look like, um, I think those are faux rice pearl, but these look like little garnets. So let me test this real quick. Oh, I don't have my machine on. Shame on me. We do have a barrel clasp. And as soon as I get the machine going, these are very cold, so they're at least clasped if they're not, um, um, what did I say? Garnet. Oh, Lord mercy. I am waiting for Daryl to bring me home a Thai tea. I need it. Uh, for some reason, I woke up at 3.30 this morning and I stayed up. This is 18 inches. Couldn't go back to sleep till about 6.30 and then got back up at 9.30 and I'm all messed up today because of it. Okay, it's awake. Let's see what it's going to do. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely garnet. And uh, 18 inches. And we'll do this for eight. So I hope everybody's having a good day. I hope you've got yourself something good to drink. You're sitting back, sit back and relaxing. And uh, maybe you'll find something pretty today to buy. And here's our next one. We have this beautiful rhinestone with a tassel. Not a tassel, fringe. Beautiful rhinestone colors. Double chained here, Rollo chains, very long necklace, lobster claw clasp with an extender. This one is 32 inches, and the extender gives you an additional, because it's not fully extended, additional 3 inches. It's got a little tag on here that has a little rhinestone in the center and Elsie on the back we'll do this little beauty for five dollars very pretty It's either Lauren Conrad or Liz Claiborne. I don't know. They have the same initials. The next one we're going to do is this one. This is soft deer leather. Very soft leather. Beautiful. Love this. Then you have the hematite. And I believe that you may have coral here. And then these are... 
some kind of bone or horn or whatever. Beautiful, beautiful white. This is just lovely. It's very native looking to me. And it is, I guess, a choker style. And we'll do that one for, let me look at this a little closer. Yeah, that's bone. And yes, I do believe that is coral. I can see the little imperfections. It's uh, red all the way through. Beautiful. I don't know if I can show it to you. Let's see. Let's get a close-up. Whoops. You see an occasional dark spot. If I can. These are beautiful. I don't know what that black stuff is on my nail. It could be, um, come on, stay, stay focused here. There we go. Looks very coral to me. But, um, I do a, a lot of work in junk journals and stuff, and I get inks on my fingers. That's where I hurt my nail the other day and had to cut, had the Band-Aid on it in prior videos. I need to cut them all off and start growing them out again. We're going to do this one for 15. It's absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, it looks very Native American. I'm not sure that it is now, but it has that southwestern, very nice look. Fifteen. Next one I have is this beautiful chip green necklace, and this is a tiger eye, I believe. It's just beautiful. Bring this back down. Silver balls here. A nice um, barrel clasp. It is, what is it, Robin? It's 16 inches. And we'll do that one for $4. Very pretty. Okay, the next one I have is on a cork, very unique cork cord. That is very cool. Nice um, lobster claw clasp. And these are your beads. Here's Jesus. Here's the back.
And I don't, I don't know if these are silver or not. I haven't tested them. Let's test it first with a magnet. Yeah, that's not... Yeah, none of this is moving. That cork jewelry can be very uh, expensive. Well, not can be. It, it was in New Orleans. Can't really get this to rub. Here we go. Here we go. It is framed. It looks like it's framed in silver. That's what I'm trying to rub. Let's see these beads here. And one of these here. Well, that's not very good rub, but let's test this this coin, this frame of the coin. Or medallion. Christian medallion. bubbles. Get off there. One, two, three. Nope, it disappears. So maybe it's pewter since it's not magnetic. I'm just not sure what it is. That's a very nice piece. Just give me a second. I don't want my hand in this stuff. Okay. We'll do this necklace for four dollars. Very pretty. Beautiful. Next one we have is this, and I'm not sure what kind of material this is. It is carved out. Kind of reminds me of arrowhead stuff. Beautiful jasper. It looks like landscape jasper. On a um, lobster claw clasp. This is very pretty. This one is eighteen inches. We'll do that for eight. Next I have are some more beautiful glass pearls. Again, another magnet. I had another pair earlier that was, I can't remember what color it was. It might have been white. Wasn't as big as this one. I mean, it was bigger than this one. Longer. I think it was, it was black. Oh yeah, it was black crystal. Let's look at these two together. Now this, the black crystal one was eight, 18. And it's gorgeous and hasn't sold yet. Whoops. Now this one is pearl. I think uh, glass pearl. And the same kind of class. We'll do this one for um, hmm. we'll do this one for 12. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I was going to keep that one. Oops, excuse me. 12 and 18, so you can get both of them 30. And those are, that's a good buy because these are absolutely beautiful. And this black glass, it's good glass. It's probably crystal or something. I don't know. It's just very sparkly, and you can see that. Have 
to do some more silver next. I didn't put a price. I did not put a price. Twelve. Okay. Next is a very dainty necklace. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's got CZs. It's got a toggle, I mean, a, a, a lobster claw clasp. I'm looking to see if it was any 925. I don't see that. Little bead on the end of the extender. Isn't that beautiful? Those CZs are just nicely cut and they sparkle, sparkle. They look like diamonds. Let's make sure they're not diamonds. I'm going to test them. CZ. And this necklace is not magnetic. So I don't know if this part's been added on or not. So let's test the chain on this. No, it's got a copper base. But anyway, it's a beautiful little necklace. So dainty. I just love. It has such a beautiful presence on the neck, but not being, you know, a loud statement. Somebody has to come in and... I had somebody compliment me on a necklace like this before. How they really liked it. A gentleman did. And, uh... He wasn't flirting, because I'm too old. But we'll do this one for five. It's gorgeous. And I didn't give you a link, so let me go back. Pull it out. And give you a link. 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 It's not fully extended. It's partially extended and it's uh, 17 inches. And you have <clears throat> this much more to go and I gotta take the knot out. You'll have even more. I have an illusion necklace here and you can tell that by the string is always uh, real light plastic and it looks like it's an illusion. These are glass beads. But these yellow beads really fluoresce. But they are glass. You can't see it. Let's turn out some lights. It's real orangey and it's not showing. Um, see like that. Orangey. Like that, see? Anyway, it's very pretty. <clears throat> it has a hook clasp. And a Affinity figure eight hook. I mean, it's a hook clasp with Affinity. Oh my goodness, a figure eight that it hooks onto. And I don't see any marks on it. This necklace is 15 inches, and we'll do it for $2. These are nice glass beads, so I did test them on the glass thing. I thought at first would they might be amber, but then they were too cold, and... They did fluoresce, but they weren't amber. Two dollars. Glass. Now uh, let's take a look at this one. It's got a lobster claw glass extender with the bead. We're missing one of the beads. 
up close around the neck. This is just beautiful. I'm not putting this in the Hobby Lot because I do believe it is amber. Or it's a amber composite. Because it's definitely glowing uh, greenish yellow here. You can see that. That one, that one. So I believe these are amber beads. They feel like amber beads. They have that feel. Aren't they beautiful? We have rhinestones in here. Like I said, one of the beads is missing. Right here. but it's still wearable. Let me get it turned around. So I have fell in love with Thai tea. They really make it good at this new Thai restaurant. It's right outside the Air Force Base gates. It's delicious. That necklace is fully extended. Oops. Let me do this in. It's 20 inches fully extended. I just love this. I wasn't going to sell it. It's, I'm going to sell it for 18. I know it's missing one of this, the things here. But that is beautiful. Here's the back side of it. It's in very good condition. I haven't even tested the metal. Let's see what the metal says. It says copper, silver over copper. And we're doing this one for 18. Gorgeous. I just love it. Just beautiful. As you get up on the top, these are just beaded. But from here, these are all rhinestoned. And all the rhinestones are there. And then you go back to the beaded part. Very pretty, 18. Let's do some more. Next one I have is this multi beaded and strand necklace. We'll do that for a dollar. And it has a lobster claw clasp with an extender. I have these two wooden bracelets. We'll do both of those for a dollar. They're stretchy and they're in good shape. Well, I'm putting them in a bag because I want to remember I'm doing both for a dollar. We're going to do some dollar stuff. This is the dollar part of the video. Oh, man. Come on, close up. One. I got a plethora of black 
beaded bracelets. We have, this is the mesh-like bangle. Then we have these pyramid style type. And there's one, two, three of those. This whole lot's going to be a dollar. And we have these faceted, different types of facet. They are acrylic. And I'm just kind of going to show these separate because they're all kind of different. Now these are cold. This may be silver. Got something written on it. CFC. And I'm checking the star out now for any marks. No marks. The beads are definitely black. They're either glass or stone. They are definitely stone. They went up to the uh, spinel jadeite section. Yes, they did. So I don't know. That's that one. These are all a dollar. And then I have these. They are acrylic. So you get all these black, all these black bracelets for a dollar. And here is a bag. I need a bag. Set it over there for the moment. Okay, we have these two little bracelets that are fun. We're going to do those for a dollar. And I have these three yellow bracelets. Here's um, some crosses with a tassel. And then these. These are acrylic too. Those three are a dollar. <clears throat> Have a little dream catcher with the little I don't know if that's stone or not. Let's see if it registers on here. No, it's not. It's just a little bead. So we have this for a dollar. We have this for a dollar. We have these little beaded bracelets. They're made. Somebody made them for a dollar. Curious. I don't know if I can get it on. Might be for little girls. Yeah, I would say little girls on these, okay? Because I can't get it on. This one I can. But that other one I couldn't. So those are a dollar. I have this Confederate shell necklace. It's part of our history. I know some people are offended by it. There are a lot of people that died by it. Um, I'm from the South, though, and so you're going to find these. I think we can all learn from history, you know, maybe. I think. Anyway, that's a dollar.
I've got these colorful shell necklaces. We'll do two of those for a dollar. And I have some shell bracelets. Let's do some more stuff with that. Let's do a lot. How about this? This is colorful. Beaded. I didn't even see if that was showing. So we'll do those two together. And have a nice hematite and cat's eye bracelet. We'll do that for a dollar. I got some pearl. Here's two pearl bracelets. And this is a memory wire. Oh, wait a minute. That's come apart there. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Hobby Lot. So we'll put this with that. And that's got pearl on it, so we'll put that one in there. And this one that doesn't have pearl in it. And this one. We'll just do that group for a dollar. We'll put this one in with the uh, colorful bracelets over here, this group. And then I have all these nice wooden beads. And there's some Mama Bear. We'll do that group for a dollar. And we'll add these shell necklaces here with these bright colored ones for a dollar. So you get all of those for a dollar. orange necklace lobster claw class extender with a bead it's set on gold tone everything's there there's your chain here's the backs they're in good shape we'll do this necklace for a dollar and it is let me give you a link on this one <clears throat> is 22 inches fully extended dollar I have this little necklace here with the black beads on it so I'm going to put it with the black beaded bracelets that were a dollar this beaded necklace. It's got a spring ring clasp. I want to test it. I don't think I've been testing enough lately. What am I testing? I'm testing it for um, Bakelite. And that's what I used to test it with semi-chrome. Where is Sometimes I forget to taste test for Bakelite and it gets through. I had a bracelet I showed y'all the other day called, uh, one of my viewers said it was cream spinach, it was Bakelite. And um, I found another one, a skinnier one of the same cream spinach within all of this. So, uh, yeah, that's telling me I don't test enough for Bakelite. 
but when I see an older clasp on it, and I didn't show you, Bakelite comes, I mean, semi-chrome comes out very pink, and then you rub it on the item, won't hurt it, and then when you pull it up, if it's yellow, see it's still pink, it's Bakelite, so these are not Bakelite. And I'm going to put them in with these beads. That necklace. Just trying to give y'all some little baggie full of jewelry. I'm going to do these two wooden um, necklaces together. One's longer than the other, so you can pair them together. This one has no clasp. It's just strung around. And then this one has a clasp, a lot chunkier beaded one. That's a dollar. And then we have this one. Very cool. There's the back. I'm not sure if this is acrylic, lacquer, or wood, or what. But it's very cool. It's on a string cord. Right here. We'll do that one for a dollar. Y'all can't see it. I got so much stuff out here. Out of the way over here. So I can bag them. Oh, he's back. I might have my tea. My marvelous tea. This is unzipped zipper jewelry. Ithaca, New York. Felted back. Very well made. Totally all zipper. A little red rhinestone on your extender, lobster claw class, well made necklace. That's a dollar. And this is kind of loose, and I'm going to put this in the Hobby Lots. Beautiful blue beads. And I'm going to put these two pieces in the Hobby Lot. Have this shell necklace and this shell necklace would be a dollar. It's a coconut piece there. Wood and shell. Toggle clasp. And then this one just fits over the head. Pretty shells on this. That's a dollar. I have another shell necklace. And a wooden necklace. And this looks like a wooden anklet with little pieces. And here's a cowie shell choker necklace style. And a cross. St. Thomas. This has got your, um, Job seed and bamboo. And then I have this one. And it all goes together for a dollar. And 
that's going to be it for now. Thank you guys for joining us. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And those that have come back, welcome back. And um, subscribe to the channel if you're new so you know when we put up new videos. If you like this kind of video, hit with the notification bell. And we'll see you guys soon. Bye now.